Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles, go with me to Matthew's the ninth chapter. I'm going to read a couple of verses here, then I'm going to write out here. Matthew's the ninth chapter and the 37th verse. This is what it's all about. Matthew's the ninth chapter, beginning at the 37th verse. Amen. Got it? Amen. 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 Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful. But the labels a few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send for labels yes. unto his harvest. Amen. The people, your job in the churches today is to pray that God will send for labels. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you have them in your church. Mm -hmm. But see, we come to church and assemble ourselves in church just to have church. Amen. But we ain't thinking about the folks on the outside who are going to hell. Amen. There's some folks in the church, they're right. church members, right. but they don't know the king. Amen. They don't know God. Amen. We first got to start in the church. When I came home in, 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 in 1990, my mother and them, they would sing this song, Come to Jesus, Come yeah. to Jesus. He yeah, would yeah. say, and I'm looking around the church, I said, no, why do they keep singing that song? I said, everybody <coughs> in here is part of this church, so, and, and, and they belong to you. <laughs> so I said, all of them ain't mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they in the church, uh -huh. but you see, the church is not in all there. Right. Yeah. See, we got to get folks saved in the church Amen. and cut out all this fleshly things that are going on in our church yeah. and get into the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. So God is telling us in this scripture right here, pray uh -huh. that he will send poor labels yes. yeah. Yeah. into his vineyard. Amen. See, the Lord said this. He said, if I be lifted yeah. up, yeah. I will do the drawing. Right. See, we're trying to lift up individuals and not lift up Jesus. Yeah. Ain't nothing going to happen. Yeah. Wow. All you want to do is get church members. Mm -hmm. right. You can have all the kind of parades, the dinners, and all the other stuff mm -hmm. that you get trying to draw folks into Jesus. Yeah, right. But honey, if you don't lift him up, come on. Right. hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, they're coming to eat your food. They're coming to dine with whatever you can have for them. That's right. But in order for you to get Jesus in them, mm -hmm. you got to lift him up all right, all right. and let Amen. him do the drum. Yeah. Yeah. I talk my head off to folks here, trying to get you to come to church. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I said, Lord, what can I do? And I read that voice. It just, you know, like some just hit you in there. Because uh -huh. this is what you got to do. Lift me up. Yeah. I will do the drawing. Yeah. Lift me up. Tell folks about me. <coughs> Not what's going on. Just tell them how good I am. Yeah. Yeah. Let them see you, see me in you. That's yeah. right. That's right. See, that's what we got to do. We can't go around here snobbing out the nose and All right. oh, I'm that's so right. I'm this and I'm that. No. I don't care if it's the man who come in here drunk. I pray to God that they come in here drunk or whatever they come in here. Like the man came in the church, he was drinking, he had, had a little, little high, you know, and come in the church, sit down. And the lady preaching up there, she said, now all you got to do is accept Jesus. All you got to do is call on Jesus. Then call on Jesus. And so he jumped up and said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. She looked around, she said, drunk, said, sit down in the church, sir. See, you ain't saved. You're drunk. He said, but you told me if I call on Jesus, I'll be saved. All right, right now. I'm not going to sober up and you criticize him. Amen. That's what we do. We criticize folk too much. Right. Get enough Jesus in you, all you can see is Jesus. All right. Hello. <laughs> we need to be looking at nobody and looking at their past and talking about what they are, what they're doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Preach Jesus to them. Yeah. Amen. 
Amen. You can't clean a fish before you catch him. Right. That's what the whole Lord church man is trying to do. Yeah. And you get right to come to Jesus. Oh. No. Right. No. You bring them in here. Whichever way they come. Yeah, that's right. Accept them. Yeah. And give them the word. Yeah. Let Jesus do the job on them. Yeah. And they'll be saved. Amen. Well, see, you try to do it on your own. Mm, no, no, no. You, you're just wasting time, folks. Amen. Let me let me tell you something. I was in a denomination. You know, I love my denomination. I brought up and raised in it, raised in it. But honey, I found out something. If you get filled with the Holy Ghost and you get start talking in tongues and you start doing what this Bible tell you to do, your denomination will turn them. Amen. They'll tell you, uh, we don't have that. In, in, a, in us church. We don't want that in our church. Because that's of the devil. Honey, you can the blaspheme in the Holy Ghost yeah. when you're talking about speaking in tongues of the right. devil. Everybody who get filled with the Holy Ghost, there is some sign of it uh -huh. when you get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. See, tongues is used for a sign that you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Tongues are used for four things. Four things in the church. Number one is for sign. Number one is for edification. To build you up. Right. Build you up. Right. Mm -hmm. And tongues is used for prayer right. and praise. That's right. And tongues is used the gift. The gift of tongues. Yes. That's right. That's the full main reason for right. tongues. Amen. But most of your denomination put all tongues in the same category. If you want scripture for, for what I'm speaking of, yes. Acts 2, 10, I mean 2, chapter 10 and chapter 19 tells you that tongues are used for a sign. Amen. First Corinthians, the 14th chapter, will tell you about tongues as prayer and praises, and also tongues for edification Amen. to build you up. Amen. And you got the gift of tongues, which right. is the fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. The first one. Four different faiths that they use for. Mm -hmm. But everybody will cast them in one category. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't know your Bible, hush. <laughs> That's the best thing I can say. If you don't know your Bible, hush. Lord. Don't come telling me about the, what the Bible said, and you don't know Adam's about the Bible. You don't know nothing about it. You know, you see. Don't come talk to me. See, that's why Jehovah's Witnesses is one of the fastest going cults that it is. I've got to say cults, that's all it is. Because they have taught you, they, they've learned how to talk you into denying Christ and accepting just what Jehovah said. But honey, I don't let them talk. Because all I'm going to talk about is Jesus. That's it. You got to come up. You got. You can't let folks just try to lead you. You got to know this book right here so that you can talk this book. Everything you need to know is in this book right here. And don't come tell me about they done did away with this and they done did away with that. When? Who took it out? Somebody talked about the nice apostle died. That's what it is that. This book, do you have some of it? Oh, you just take a, that what you want out. Right. And leave the rest of them out the apostles. Right. No. Jesus put apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers yes. in the church. Yes. Now, who have the authority yes. to take them out? Nobody. Did he take them out? No. They're still in there. Man. What you and I are to do is stop listening to folks, get into this word for ourselves, have a Bible study. Do you know what's the least in the church today? Mm. Prayer meets and Bible study. Yes. Folk come to church at 11 o'clock service and when the, when the door uh, time comes, they want to go home. Yes. They don't pick up a Bible until they get back to church the next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now how are you going to be in Christ and the devil got you seven days, mm. yeah. you walking with him, especially on your job where you want to say some mm, mm. words. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's get real. All right, now. Let's All right. get real. We are living in a sinful world, and
and it's going to be more and more and more soon. You better read the 24th chapter of Matthew and the 13th chapter of Mark. You better lay in them books and find out what's coming up on this earth. Because we fixing to have some stuff. All right. We are fixing to have some stuff to come on this earth. That a whole lot of people are not going to be prepared for. Amen. In fact, a whole lot of people are not prepared Amen. for some of the stuff that's going on right now. Right now. Right. Why is all this happening? <clears throat> Jesus done told you. Yeah, right. We ain't going to hate one another. They'll even think they're killing you for Christ's sake. All right. So we have to understand that. Yeah. And know what is coming upon this earth. Amen. If you don't know, I'm sorry for you. I got because the Bible has told you. So the thing that you and I can do is get prepared. Yes, Ooh, be prepared. Amen. Pray. Yes. Most folk don't know how to pray. The Bible tells you that. See that three ways to pray. Folk don't know that. Three ways. You pray in your English language. Mm -hmm. You pray in tongues, and you pray with groans. Groans. What did Jesus do when he come to the tomb of that? He groaned in his spirit. And he said, after he had done that, Father, you always hear. Yeah. And yet, he groaned. What is that? That's my spirit making connection with his spirit. Hallelujah.